Hello everyone, welcome back to another video talking Giga Stuff with me. Uh, as you can see uh, on the page, Chris Kendrick. I think I said so. I thought it was a good idea to talk shit about talk shit on Toriyama for clout. I just did. I posted a video yesterday uh, in the morning when I found out the news of Akira Toriyama passing, and in the video I did a short one, about five minutes long. You can hear my voice start to croak a little bit. I was getting sad. I was talking about one of the legends, one of my inspirations growing up. You know. Um, being a child to teenager even to my adult years inspired me so much and come back from work I would put on YouTube and loads of YouTube start talking about it. so I did a little digging and this pops up seriously I mean even just talking bad on someone who just passed that alone is disrespectful really really low for anyone, even someone I don't like, I'll at least show some respect. They passed, and if you're going to talk crap about someone, talk to the face. You know, be a man. Oh, apparently I can't say that word no more. I can't say be a man no more. Apparently, be a man. Grow some balls. Talk to the person face on. You know, show some dignity. Show some respect. You talk about someone who's inspired, inspired the world. 40, 40 plus years you, you call them a racist do some, do some research if it's about Mr. Popo you know he's not actually black he's based on a gin, a genie you know, he's not human I don't know how you come up when I was a kid I just thought he reminded me of the, the gin, you know, the legendary stories I grew up with in the Middle East about this creature he wasn't a being, he wasn't a colour, he wasn't a race stupid people are just pulling out straws for out of their asses. I don't usually like to swear in my videos, and I don't even, I don't even like to get into the culture wars. Yes, in some of my videos, I did I call out woke woke crap, um, and I've been YouTube been talking about it, speak was it sweet baby ink, you know, just infecting the video games. You know what these people? I mean, I'm defending one of my heroes, one of the all-time greats in comics, manga, creativity. I don't care who you are. Akira Toriyama is, in my opinion, one of the greatest of all time. And his creations will last until I die, until you die, until everyone's dead. That's how big of an impact his work is. Yeah. It's a shame that he's passing. I would love to know he has so much work inside. But what he left us will change. It will inspire generations to come. And these people who talk crap about him, who, who infect the hobbies that we like, comics, movies, video games, manga, anime. They are a bunch of idiots. They don't even like the stuff they're in. I don't understand these people. They come into our field, not even caring about the hobbies. They don't know nothing about the stuff they're supposedly working on. I really don't understand that. I mean, you can just go into the comments and I think every single one of these comments are defending Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama's work. Yes, some people may don't like his sense of humor, but you've got to think about it. It's the 80s, from the 70s, 80s, 90s to now, from a different country, Japan. It's a sense of humor. It's a bit satire. Who cares? It's fun. The moral of the story is all the characters never give up. Doesn't matter who you are, never give up. Bad guys turns good. You fight someone, you lose to someone, you show respect. You know, that's the moral of the story. Never give up. If you think you you can't handle it, there's always one more step. Go super saiyan. Now that's what that's what the story taught me. And these people trying to push him down while he died. It's a few days ago. Bunch of idiots. I swear to God, I don't like to get angry much, especially on YouTube. But I had to kind of come in there, come in. And, and to say my piece. I mean, in the past few years, I've, I mean, I've tried to, really tried to you know, get involved in this culture world. You've seen some of my videos, I talk a little bit about, but I really don't get involved in it. But I've had enough. The things I grew up with, look at it now. 
people are getting fired from the industry because they're making stupid games. I don't even go to the theatre that much anymore because all the crappy movies is coming out. Comic books. I can't remember the last time I read a good comic without some nonsense, whatever, you know. And now they ruin video games, one of my other favorites of all time. Um, video games are not so bad because, you know, I've always said in my videos that I prefer Japanese games, Asian games in a way. Only, only a handful of games that I play in Western. I'm just loving, I just hope the Japanese, Asians just ignore all the Western woke whatever wars or whatever they want to input in our culture. It's just rubbish. They have it. And the worst thing is these idiots don't even care about comics, the geeky stuff. They don't care. They just want to come in and, and destroy. Why do they want to? And the worst thing is they come around telling people that you know, everybody's racist. I'm Asian. I tell you that I'm Asian. I don't care if the characters, black, white, Chinese, Middle Eastern, Indian. I can relate to them through the humanity side of things, what they stand for. You know, I don't have to listen to all these people. I see myself in the screen. I don't care if I see myself on the screen. I see myself in the screen all the time when I watch Asian movies. I don't like all the characters. Some of my favorite characters are white. Some of my favorite characters are black. Who cares what skin color they are? It's the morals and the honor and the humanity they stand for that resonates with me. That's the most important part. And the best way to do it is tell a good story. You know, you don't have to jam crap in people's throats. You know, tell a good story, have a good moral message behind it. None of this woke, woke bullshit. Again, apologies for swearing because I just had it. I had it up to the up to my neck with all these people trying to ruin, just ruin things. I swear to God, they're worse than virus. We had COVID a few months, a few years ago. These guys are even worse. You know what? Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about this, my rant. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe, and until next time, peace out. Bye bye.